Hi, welcome back to the Sumo tutorial. In this section, I'm going to show you the Sumo installation process and some basic definitions and structures in Sumo. So let's get started. To use Sumo, the first step is determining your operational system and finding a suitable uh, Sumo version to download and install. Uh, the information necessary for downloading the right piece of code for your operational system can be found at the Sumo documentation webpage in the download section. So let's click on this link and uh, find the appropriate version for our operational system. Okay, now we are in the downloads webpage of the Sumo. You can also come to this webpage by simply googling the Sumo documentation come to the website and uh, come to the click on the download section there are various versions of sumo i mean for uh, sumo for macintosh system sumo for linux and sumo for windows i choose the windows version actually there are two kinds of uh, download files uh, an executable file and a compressed zip file i suggest you to use uh, this uh, executable file and also uh, there are two kinds of installer uh, I mean there's a installer with all extras and there's a simple installer uh, and also I choose this installer with all extras let's download the file okay after downloading the file you double click the executable file and uh, follow the traditional way of installing executable files in Windows. Let's accept the agreement and uh, without touching anything, uh, click on the install button to complete the installation. Okay, after the, the installation process is terminated, you have the Sumo installed in your computer. Uh, now let's see what Sumo will provide us and uh, let's see how the Sumo will work. Okay, um, after installing Sumo, you'll see that uh, Sumo, in fact, is the collection of many different programs which must be used together in order to set up and run a simulation. For example, a Sumo has programs for running a simulation such as Sumo or Sumo GUI. Well, the difference between these two is that Sumo uh, is a command line application, while Sumo GUI is a uh, graphical user interface application. Or we have programs for creating a network topology, such as NetConvert or NetEdit or NetGenerate. Well, uh, NetConvert is a network Im importer and generator which reads road networks from different formats and converts them into the Sumo format. The NetGenerate uh, generates abstract networks for the Sumo simulation. And the NetEdit is a graphical network editor that we'll discuss in more details in the upcoming videos. Sumo also has programs for uh, traffic demand generation. For example, DUA router, JTR router, GF router, uh, OD2 trips, activity gen. Each of them, uh, you know, has a different uh, uh, functionality in traffic demand generation. For example, DUA, uh, which stands for dynamic user assignment, computes the fastest route through the network and imports different types of uh, uh, demand descriptions or um, the OD2 trip, uh, trips decomposes uh, origin and destination matrices into single vehicle trips or the activity gen, uh, gen generates a demand based on mobility wishes of a modeled population uh, also, there are other programs provided in Sumo, like Polyconvert, that imports points of interest and polygons from different formats and translates them into a description uh, that may be visualized by Sumo GUI. You can find these programs uh, in, a, in, in the bin directory where you installed your uh, Sumo. Uh, in addition to these uh, main uh, 
programs uh, like Sumo or NetEdit or NetConvert, there are over 150 additional tools. Uh, they cover topics from traffic network analysis, demand generation, demand modification to output analysis. Uh, most of them are written in Python, actually. Um, these tools can be found in the tools directory uh, where you uh, installed your Sumo. Uh, well, there are basically two different pieces of information necessary to start a Sumo simulation, a network topology and a traffic pattern demand. These two are, are, are basically the mandatory inputs of the simulation. A network topology comprises a network of roads, railways, pedestrian uh, ways, aquatic routes, or other means of moving cars, buses, trucks, trains, or even people. And, it, and this, uh, created, uh, this is created in a XML file format. Uh, and a traffic pattern demand comprises the cars, buses, trams, trucks, boats or even people moving around in a given pattern along the network. This file also is created in the XML format. Um, besides the uh, a network file and a demand file, you might also specify additional files. These additional files uh, are optional and describe add-ons for the simulation, like, uh, for example, the definition of induction loops or other kinds of sensors, uh, a background image containing the air photography of the involved region, POIs or points of interest like building names, shopping stores or other landmarks which you want to be included in the visualization of the simulation, or either polygon zones you want to represent in the simulation vis uh, visualization. These requirements or inputs uh, can be unified in terms of a, uh, a configuration which needs to be defined in order to run a simulation. A configuration file contains all the, uh, all the parameters uh, and options required to start the application and can be defined in Sumo in an XML configuration file. Then uh, you need to specify your outputs in the configuration file that contains a wide set of outputs like state statistics, vehicle information, route information, or trips information, uh, and will be generate and these uh, outputs will be generated after the simulation. Well, here you can see an example of a configuration XML file. As you can see, uh, the inputs are defined, uh, which are the network file, the root file, and the additional file. But in this case, uh, the outputs and other options are not defined in the configuration file. Well, given a configuration file example, uh, a simulation can be started in Sumo by, you know, simply typing these command lines in the command shell of, uh, you know, your working directory. Okay, this is the end of the second video. We've learned how to install Sumo and some basic definitions and uh, structures of Sumo. In the next video, we'll dive in more details, learn how to uh, you know, create a simple transportation network in NetEdit and more importantly we learn uh, how to convert a traffic network from other file formats into Sumo formats. So see you then.